Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to start off the week with a restock and some things I've been working on over the weekend and last week. These are all journals and supplies that I've made. There's a couple of things from my mother-in-law. Both Sasha and Joanne are working on restocks, but I do not have them yet. I probably will in the next week or two. So make sure you're subscribed so that you get notifications and you don't miss anything like that. So lots of random stuff today, lots of fun stuff. I hope you find a tiny bit of inspiration in some of this. So first off, my mother-in-law, Connie, who now has a section in my shop and she does beaded work and crochet, hand crochet. So she uh, crocheted these four green variegated butterflies. Look at how cute they are. They'd be so bright and colorful on a journal. They have their little antenna. They're so sweet. So there's a set of four of those all hand crocheted and try to get them back in their bag or I'll lose them. And then she has, we have a little packet she did of flowers and stars. You could use them all as flowers. Some of them are supposed to be, I thought they looked great as a little bouquet. You can clip off the dangles, not the dangles, but the strings if you wish but there's, there's uh, variegated green flowers, and then these are stars, but um, they actually look a little more like flowers or leaves. There's a whole bunch of them in here. There's teeny tiny ones, and then some really pretty bigger ones. And as you can see, you could even do this on a journal cover if you kept them all together and added a little pop of color right there. So, whoops, not easy to get in the bag. Those are the new crocheted items. And then, I still have too much stuff on my desk here. Uh, she made one beaded dangle here. Dangle, I guess, tassel. Not pretty. Okay, so here's the beadwork right there. And then we've added, she's added on some different laces and fabrics. And then this really pretty flower there. So you've got that. So those are in her section. The rest of the stuff is mine and I'll just, I have a basket here. I'm just pulling stuff out. So I have a collection here of stitched paper ribbons and some really pretty summer colors and they're double-sided as well. So I think that's pretty. And then what is this? This is just a collection of ephemera that I cut out and put together. Some of it is stitched, some of it isn't. It's all like on cardstock or inked or some of them are inked, some are on cardstock. These are all like on ivory cardstock. They're from different of my ephemera packs, but they're cut out. These ones are inked, they're ready to go. Some of them are, um, I think these are from Digital Collage Club. I die cut this ticket from some Artie Mays paper, stitched that on and that. There's some little paper ribbons. This is die cut from an Artie Mays paper. There's a tag die cut from Artie Mays. Made a little Rolodex card, some birds, some different ones of my kit. This is from My Fair Garden. And then these I think are Tracy Fox. And I've added Everyday Notes and Imagine to those. So it's just a collection of ephemera for you to use in decorating your journals. And it comes in this nice little bag. I also have some postage stamps. I'm trying to see how many sets I have. There's 25 in each one. These are used, like canceled stamps. I think they're all from the United States, but there's each one is just a random variety of stamps that would be great for your collages or journaling. So I have several sets of those postage stamps. I have some journals that I created. This one is a boho journal. I hand painted, well, hand painting sounds so sophisticated. I wanted to keep all these paint um, 
strokes. I've used dark blue and dark green, but I hand painted a semi-gloss paper cover. It's five and a half by eight and a half. It's stitched. And then I decoupaged some sari silk fabric here and on the back. This is a little Mrs. Cog's image of this bohemian lady. This is a sari silk closure. And there's this little bead here and then this locket that has a bohemian lady that I've used. I think that was from Mrs. Cog's as well. I just cut it out. And then there's lace and some pretty flat backs and like metal work there. And I've used Boho Beauty on the inside. It's one of my paper packs. Try to get into it. There's 60 pages. On the inside, there's textured green cardstock and then fabric down the spine. This is from Graphics Fairy. Some little pages to write on. So I've used my papers, like I said, Boho Beauty. And the edges on these, two edges on the pages have been ripped so you have a nice little texture. I've also used my William Morris ink saver pages and it is embellished. I've added snippets and little images from Mrs. Cox. There's a wallpaper ribbon. There's a little pocket. This I cut off from a Victoria Designs page. Butterfly stenciling. There's a stamp. This is cut out from my porch prints. So this is a new stamp I got from Tuesday morning. I love it. It's a background stamp. This is the first time I've used it in here and I thought that was really pretty. So both Boho Beauty and William Morris Ink Savers are in my uh, shop. So you can search those. The link is in the description box below. But just kind of a nature boho theme added the Mrs. Cogs. Um, I printed them at half size so that they were a little bit smaller and I could just add them to the pages. There's a little flower flat back button there. Some washi tape. There's a little bronze butterfly on a bulb pin. This is my William Morris ink saver. The backgrounds are white, so whatever you print them on, you're not using as much ink. And this is Digital Collage Club, and I've used that um, library card. I need to do a video and update. I have new coupon codes for this year for them, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. I do have coupon codes. I just forgot to add them, so they're not up yet. I will try to do that later this week. But there's that boho journal. And then this one, I used my new paper pack called Pink and Yellow Bees. There's six pages. And so I've used that in here. And again, I've painted this cover with yellow and gold. And then I have these texture paste butterflies, some ink splatters, some, this is Indian, it's not sari fabric, but it is Indian fabric for the closure, and that's just removable. And then I have some fabric here and a little bee. That little bee was cut out from my porch prints. Some fabric here on the back. Again, five and a half by eight and a half, 60 pages. Fabric down the spine again, as well as the textured cardstock. And then this is my new paper pack. It's called Pink and Yellow Bees. I had a lot of fun creating it using different, um, florals and textures and cute little bees so you can purchase that on my shop printed or digitally i've also used some victoria designs this is from the life notes collection and because i think this was the ink saver version from the life notes and because there's not a whole lot of color to it it makes it nice for a background that you can journal on and then i've added different bees from be my porch prints this is also one of my paper packs. It's called, I think it's called Frosted Florals. So um, you can find that as well. Again, there's my new paper pack. An envelope with some goodies inside there. Little sorry bow on that. This is Inspirational Butterflies. That's another one of my paper packs. They have little short inspirational say sayings like love deeply. 
This is my new pack again, came out so pretty. Frosted florals, this is a little piece of vellum. You can tuck something under there. I've used some butterfly washi stickers. Okay, and here's my new pink and yellow bees. And I have a kit called Birds and Bees, but I want to do more bees because I have a lot of birds, so that's great. This is Sweet and Breezy. That's one of my paper packs as well. Again, Victoria Designs with a bee from My Porch Prints. That's my new paper. So is that. And some stamping. This was a piece of stationery that my grandmother gave me from Paris, I believe. It's the last sheet I had left. And I made a little pocket. And then here's just a little cardstock flip out. It says only pretty things. Some butterfly postage stamps that I've added there. That's mine. It's a little journal card. This, uh, here's an interesting maybe tip you haven't thought of. This is a vintage postcard. Well, part of it. The whole postcard I got in a lot that I bought on eBay and it was kind of a risque cartoon <laughs> postcard, which I suppose has its place. It doesn't really in my nature journals. So I liked the back though. So I just kind of ripped the back and made a little pocket and tucked in a little journal card. Again, adding more of my porch prints. There's a little butterfly button up there. Some bees. This was fun. So this is just white presentation paper and I ripped it for that edge and then I used a variegated colored ink pad that has like blues and pinks and greens and I just inked the edges so you can journal on that but it looks really pretty and crisp. A little project life card. I added some ink splatters. Again, this is frosted florals. This butterfly background I got from creativefabrica.com and I've used it in multiple journals because I really love what it looks like. This is one of my new papers. Inspirational Butterflies. This is a manila tag with some fabric and some stamping. My favorite rose stamp. This is one of my new Element Digis. It's Celtic Rose Postcards. Really pretty. And then I just folded it in half for a little fliplet tucked it in there. You can journal. Cut out for my porch prints again. There's a little flat back butterfly and some fabric up there at the top. Love my porch prints. So this is really pretty from her as well. So that's that one. I was enjoying just painting covers, trying out different fun, messy techniques. I have one more in here somewhere to show you. And I have one that I'm working on that is not completed that you will see in a, another video. All right, let's see. So here's some journal covers. This is a set of four journal covers. And this is a sneak peek of a new paper pack I'm working on called Parrot Isle. It's uh, for this summer. Hopefully it'll be released in the next week or two. It's kind of like Limberlost. If you follow me and you know my paper pack Limberlost, it has 24 different designs meant to be printed double-sided if you want or single-sided, but it's been very popular. Limber Limberlost is woodland themed. So I decided to go parrot tropical theme for my next one. It's not completed. I think I have 15 of the 24 pages done. And this is four of them, but I've turned them into journal covers as kind of a sneak peek. And then on the inside, I've printed these lovely textures that I think I got from, I think it's from design bundles, I want to say. Could be wrong. I think that's what they were from. But just these green paint textures check out design bundles. You get a lot of great stuff there too. So parrots, I've stitched, I've inked, and you can make your own tropical journals. Or of course you could use these. These are five and a half by eight and a half. You could use them as pages. Maybe if you're making a tropical journal, you could use these as pages, or you could turn them into ephemera folders if you wanted to put in um, pockets. But it's a set of four cardstock printed double sided. Here's the other journal that I have completed and I painted and this is a, an imprint stencil, imprint stencil. I'm just making up my own words as I go along. So I've, I stenciled this stencil with pink paint on the cover I'm working on currently that isn't completed. And then the paint that was left on the stencil, I smushed onto this lightly um, painted. I think I painted it with a glimmer mist, a mist and then the pink just 
imprint of the stencil on here. And so this is called Celtic Rose and I'm showing off the Celtic Rose postcards and mostly the Celtic Rose papers that Joanne made. We worked together. I made the postcards, she made the papers. You can find the papers in Joanne's digis and the postcards in Lindsay's digis. So I have some fabric. This is one of the postcards. I just printed it at half size and then I stamped. This is a graphic 45 stamp once upon a time. There's a little red rose there and a little rose gold rose that's dangling there. I've got some really pretty stitching here as well. 60 pages again. We have a paper reinforced in the middle, a cream colored cardstock here, and then just really pretty. This is a Tracy Fox. Uh, this is Celtic rose papers from Joanne. I've used a little bit of antique papery. This is rose gold. That's my paper pack. So I've just used different pinks. This is Celtic Rose. This is Antique Papery. I've done some stenciling. This is Celtic Rose Antique Papery. I've used a Mrs. Coggs. There's no place more delightful than home. Put a little sweet envelope. This is Kelly Watson. Um, really pretty as well. More Celtic Rose. This is from Script and Lace. That's one of my kits. This is from Rose Gold. And then a little ephemera piece there. I think these are both from Celtic Rose Antique Papery. This is from Terrific Times. It's a background page for a cute little tea themed paper pack I have. So this doesn't have tea on it because it's just the flower and the doily. Some little ephemera here, more stenciling, little guest check. But I don't think that's a guest check. It's like a what they used to order at a restaurant, I think. Tracy Fox, Rose Gold. I've done faux stitching with a black pen. Some stenciling, Rose Gold. Washi stickers, vintage lined paper, vintage floral book pages. This is from Fairy Frolics, Antique Papery, um, Celtic Rose. <laughs> Rose gold, a little fabric and wallpaper flip. It's a pocket, and this is a vintage postcard. Isn't that cute? So cute, the pink, so that's why I put it in here. Antique paper, papery, and Celtic rose. A little bit of wallpaper up there. A lot of gold paper clips antique papery and Celtic Rose. So this um, lace here, I hand dyed with picked raspberry distress ink. It was just a plain white. So now it's a really pretty kind of a raspberry rose color. So there's that journal. We're not done. We got a lot to look at. Those are all the journals though. I have one set of stapled snippets. There's 20. These are just little snippets that you can use on whatever you are working on, different papers and textures and things like that. Just great to pull from. All of the staples are blue. It comes in this little CD case, so you can reuse the CD case as well if you wish. I have one set of these children's playing cards. There's three hangman cards, three dots and dashes cards, and three tic-tac-toe cards. So I thought those would be super cute in a children's journal or something like that. I've made a set of large envelopes. These are great for either turning into um, a junk journal, sewing into a junk journal, using to store ephemera, using to send happy mail. But they were white and then I've used um, just a brown ink and I've stenciled and then added, this is Daniel Ridgeway Knight. They're different, beautiful, beautiful uh, prints. These are on Vintage Image Club. The link is in the description box below. You can get a left lifetime access on sale right now. I add new stuff every week. It says wishful, believe, delight, and discover. Those are Tim Holtz words. And then the other side is also stenciled with that same washi tape. So kind of grungy, kind of floral, really pretty. Set of four there. These are cover mats. They're meant to go on the front of a journal. Of course, you could use them for something else if you wish, but they're meant to go on the front of a journal. 
you could always add more, but it is, I painted this paper, dyed this paper with a pink glimmer mist. There's fabrics. Um, this is a vintage floral print. There's a butterfly. I think this is Tsunami Rose. Got lace, fabrics. So there's two of them. They could make two really pretty journal covers, or you could do something else with them if you wished. I have a de-stash lot. I haven't weighed it yet, but that's a lot. These are all my prints or public domain prints. So you can use them in journals that you sell. They are misprinted some way or another, whether the quality is not that good or like these aren't misprinted, but I printed them just actually, actually accidentally printed them. I think I don't remember, but they're perfect. I just don't need piles of stuff right now. Some of them from different kits. Some of them are on cardstock. Yeah, you know, some of them have like lines through them or they're dark or they're not perfect, but they're still usable in some way, whether it be collage or some of them are like Christmas. Well, Xerox startup page. That's funny. Uh, envelopes. There's a ton in here for you to use. So I have a whole pile of those. Then I have three sets of stitched envelopes. Um, here we go. Here's the first set. Look at how pretty. So these are from digitalpapershop.com, the papers. They're stitched, inked with silver ink, and then they are also double-sided printed so you can see a different um, paper on the inside. These are great for adding into junk journals, sending happy mail, or using to store ephemera. This is tied with sari silk ribbon. And then I have a set of four ocean ones here. These are really pretty. They have really pretty jellyfish and fish. And um, on the inside, they're colored. It's really pretty. Again, sari silk. And then these really pretty neutral nature ones, butterflies, berries, florals. And I think these are from either design bundles or design cuts. I've done a wavy cut here, silver ribbon, and then they're also printed on the inside. You can see pictures on my shop. I've got all of those. Then I've got two bags of butterfly punch outs. I was sold out, so I made two more bags. There's 50 in each, random papers and book pages. So perfect for your crafting. Then I've got some new stickers. These are like transportation. There's 29 stickers in each pack. Uh, the packs are pretty, pretty similar, but they're all these washi stickers and they're vintage like cars and people and some, there's some shoes and bicycles and things like that. So there's 29 in each pack and I do have several, I think I've got eight packs of those. I've got some heart doilies. There's 25 doilies in each pack, five yellow, five white, five, actually there might be more, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah. Um, pink, blue, and red. I have several packs of these available as well. And then I have some circle, got all these heart doilies that I've put together. And then I have circle doilies. Again, 25, and then there's green, yellow, pink, purple, and red, five of each color. Perfect for collaging, making a whole bunch of different things. And the last thing I have, yes, we've gotten to the end. These were so much fun to make, and I just want to share you, share my thought process in case you have something like this and you want to try it. These are dangles. They're faux wax seal dangles. So they look like little wax seals, but they were actually stickers. I bought these stickers at Tuesday morning quite a long time ago, thinking that I would use them as, you know, like on little letters and things like that. But they were still in my drawer. And then I saw them again last week and I was like, oh, I can make dangles with them. So since they were stickers, I stuck them onto some coffee dyed paper. And then I used my little hole punch and a black bulb pin. And then I added either buttons or mini buttons, sequins. There's a little pink square button, a little pink heart button, a red heart button, 
Some of them have sequins on them because there's four similar sets, but these would be so cute, like especially with my kit postage due, if you're doing a postage theme, but of course hearts can really go with anything. They're great for tassels or the edges of pages or the covers. So I have four sets of four of those. Oh, that was quite the video. I didn't even realize I had put that much stuff together. Um, had a lot of fun for sure. So this is all listed in either Lindsay's Supplies or Lindsay's Handmade. So I hope you find something that you would like, or of course the crocheted, the hand crocheted ones, Connie's Handmade Goodies. Um, tomorrow we are getting right back into Marketplace Journals and we will actually have a box from Vicky that are not challenge journals. And then we will have a box of challenge journals as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun journal viewing for tomorrow. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you have a lovely day.